one of the things that I love to train teachers to do is to edit the masters in Google Slides. So that way they are able to make custom learning experiences for their students and ones that the student isn't able to move the templates around. They can just mark where they want to mark and then they can put items over using the insert button over the top of what exists. So that allows the teacher to specifically ask for what they want without worrying about the students, well, moving things around. Now, one of the questions I get a lot is, could I make a collection of different lesson activities? Yes, in fact, I've made my own. I have all kinds of different uh, templates that I've created over time. And so what I can do is I can take the items that are in here and I can transfer them over here. In the past, what I had taught teachers to do is to go to file and import slides. And then you find your slide deck that you want to import from. And then what tends to happen is it sometimes messes up the destination. And so because that's temperamental, I came up with a different solution of how you can transfer from one master slide deck to another without being too destructive. So to do that, first off, I'm going to go to slide and edit master in my destination as well as my source. So slide edit master. So these are layouts that I've made that I want to transfer to this writing activity. So I'm going to grab a hold of this sandwich chart as well as the census chart here and I'm going to hold down control. When I hold down control I'm able to select more than one at a time. I will right click and copy it and then what I'm going to do is go to my destination. I'm going to right click and paste. And what's nice is that I don't have to worry about ruining my originals. I only move over the masters that I want to move and then I'm able to access them in the lesson. The one thing that people tend to forget though is that they still need to add it to their lesson. So even though these layouts exist, I still need to select them and place them in the lesson itself. So then I can insert it from this drop down and place it exactly where I want it to be. Actually, I may just reverse those two like so. So that was a quick video on how to transfer from one master to another without all the destruction that may be caused by using the import slides feature.